Hey, Busy Bees. Today, we're back with another chapter in our My Weird School series, book six, Mr. Hind is Out of His Mind by Dan Gutman. But before we get into our chapter of the day, we're going to get into the riddle of the day. And the riddle of the day is, I get answered even though I never ask a question. What am I? And I'll say it again. I get answered even though I never ask a question. What am I? And I will give you the answer to our riddle at the end of our chapter. So let's pop open the book and fly through this adventure together. So yesterday we read about chapter 7, where AJ learned that not only is he going to be able to throw Andrea in a dungeon, but he has to kiss her. He has to kiss her at the end of the play. So let's see what happens. Chapter 8, the play. For the next week, the second grade rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed the play. After school, I went home and I rehearsed my line some more. I couldn't turn on my TV anyway, so it was good to have something to do. In school, we rehearsed the whole play from start to finish. It was fun torturing Andrea. The only part we didn't rehearse was the kissing part. Mr. Hines said we would save that for the real show on Friday night. Ryan and Michael couldn't believe that I was really going to kiss Andrea. I told them that Mr. Hines said it wouldn't be so horrible if I pretended she was a dirt bike. I wouldn't kiss a dirt bike, Ryan said. Well, what would you kiss? I asked. I really like football, Ryan said. I'd kiss a football. Ryan is weird. Finally, the night of the big show. <laughs> Finally, the night of the big show arrived. Everybody was dressed up in his, his or her costume. We peeked through the curtains in the multi-purpose room and saw all the parents were there. I was nervous. Mr. Hine told us everything was going to be fine. We were waiting for the curtain to open when Andrea pulled me aside. AJ, she said, I want you to know that just because we have to kiss each other doesn't mean I like you. I don't like you either, I said. Good, she said. I'm glad we agree on something. Kissing girls is gross, I told her. Kissing boys is gross too, she said. I even went to Mr. Hine and told him I didn't want to be in the play because I didn't want to kiss you. So did I. He told me I should pretend that you're something I really like, Andrea said. That's what he told me, I said. I'm going to pretend you're a dirt bike. I'm going to pretend you're an encyclopedia, Andrea said. Fine. So we did the play. I remembered all my lines and locking Andrea in the dungeon was fun. Everything was going great. But the whole time in the back of my mind, I was thinking that soon I would have to kiss Andrea. It was a horrible thought. We were a minute away from the big kissing part. The whole cast was up on the stage. Andrea was standing right next to me. I was really nervous. Michael leaned over and whispered in my ear. Remember, she's a dirt bike, he said. Emily leaned over and whispered to Andrea. Remember, he's an encyclopedia, she said. And then, before I could catch my breath, it was time. The big moment. The kiss. I leaned over toward Andrea. Andrea leaned over toward me. My heart was beating fast. I closed my eyes. Dirt bike, dirt bike, dirt bike, dirt bike. I was trying really hard to pretend that Andrea was a dirt bike. And at that very moment, the most amazing thing in the history of the world happened. Andrea didn't kiss me. I opened my eyes. Andrea had stepped up to the microphone at the front of the stage. She started singing. The sun will come out tomorrow, she sang. She was singing that dumb stick out your chin and grin song from the Annie movie. It wasn't even in the script. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow. It was horrible and all, but it was still the greatest moment in my life because at least I didn't have to kiss Andrea. All the parents were smiling and nodding their heads. When Andrea finished singing the dumb song, they all went crazy, clapping and cheering and whistling and stamping their feet. Andrea bowed and the play was over. I'm sorry, AJ, Andrea said to me during the standing ovation. I just couldn't do it. I was afraid that if I kissed you, I might throw up. Thanks, I said. Me too. Andrea gave me a hug. Ooh, Ryan said. AJ and Andrea are in love. 
The audience was still clapping when we noticed Mr. Hine at the side of the stage behind the curtain. He was crying. We all ran over to him. Tears were streaming down his cheeks. I figured Mr. Hine was upset because Andrea messed up his hip hop play. What's wrong, Mr. Hine? Emily asked. Was that, what was that song? He asked, wiping the tears with his sleeve. It's called Tomorrow, Andrea said. It's from Annie. It's the most beautiful song I have ever heard, Mr. Hind said, and then he started crying again. Mr. Hind is weird. And that is the end of our chapter for today. Oh my gosh, what a crazy ending. Did you predict that? Did you think? I really thought that they were going to kiss. Wow, what a great move of Andrea. All right, so let's get into our riddle of the day. So our riddle was, I get answered even though I never ask a question. What am I? And the answer to the riddle is, drum roll please, a doorbell. Do you get it? A doorbell? A doorbell gets rang and he the doorbell gets answered even though they did never even asked a question. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you like to follow along for more adventures, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one.